Jim Jim Falls. Tick. Tick. M I R R A Y. That's where we are. Murray Lookout on our way too. On our way too, and up Starting to see a bit of a view. That's pretty good. You might see where that fire is coming from yeah. in the distance. Hopefully, it's not Shady Camp. Well, shady I don't Billabong. think there is a thing at Shady Camp. I think it's Shady Billabong. No. It's not Sandy. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> I know where I am. Are we? I know where I am, just not what to call it. Well, apparently we're in uh, Caradini today. Yep. It's right there. The name doesn't matter. That's a beautiful morning. And... Where are we? I'm just a bit. Beautiful morning and... Sandy Billamong. There she is. Things you gotta do to stay looking sexy. <gasps> First head session since before Darwin. It's killing me. Just, we decided to take a bit more of an alternative path at the moment because Kakadu is very populated and so we're now at the South Alligator River. Sweet ass! Sweet ass bro! Now we're going to Billabong, I think. Yeah, it's so dusty out there. Look at the mirror there, you'll get a good picture of the dust. I swallowed a lot of it. Just arrived at the Alligator Billabong, it's called. There's bound to be crocs in here. Definitely. Didn't you say there's like a five and a half metre croc up here somewhere? Yeah, you said you definitely don't want to fish in here. Well, not in a boat anyway, not in our little boat. It seems a shame it would be a good spot to throw the boat in. But... So I've just set up camp at the Alligator Lagoon, Billabong, Alligator Billabong. Dusty, everything's covered in dust. Well, except for the inside of the tent and everything's all nice and dust free, so that's good. Just made some lunch because we're almost getting hangry. Very hangry. That's why we're having a beer. Chill out, have some lunch. Yeah, might spend a couple of days here exploring around. Look at that, a little bit of potato salad on top of salad. Throw this in through your window. Just put it on the floor. Shouldn't need it, but just in case. I don't know what you're going to encounter. Trees on the other side. But you're going to have to climb into the water to do it. Yeah, but we're up. So when it go, I'll just grab the hook first so it doesn't get tangled. Yeah. Fudge. It's about 900 mil deep, so. Keep the foot down and keep going. Second low. 
Winch is working. Yep. Deepest yet. So we've had a bit of a, an eventful um, afternoon. The least. Just flew it straight into a tree. I couldn't see it. It was like dying. The battery was on low, and I was being stupid by flying it when it was beeping at me because that's the only battery I had. And we seen a croc out there, so I went to try and get footage of it. The croc dived under, and then I was flying it back, and I couldn't yet see it. I was flying it, and I must have just, I just flew it straight into that bush, and it went into the water. Yeah. And it's only probably like two two meters out, but that, and it's stuffed anyway, so. Oh well. Could be worse. Bucks later. Could be you. In the water somewhere. With the croc. <laughs> I stormed over there almost half thinking I wanted to get it out and Leanne's yelling at me going, Don't go in there. Ah, it'll be stuffed anyway, it went into the deep spot, well deeper spot. So. I just heard the crunch and then splat. Yeah. Might need a beer after that. Her ten. So stupid. It happens. Uh, I think at least like most people crash drones in their lives. At least one of their drones. Yeah, but why didn't I crash my an expensive one? I went and thought, no, I'm getting good at this, so I've bought a more expensive one. And then you crash. I feel like you already crashed your inexpensive one. Into the water too, yeah. but I saved it. it was but fine. there was no crocs in there. Yeah, yeah. So we I were quickly, swimming in that water. I quickly grabbed it out and it yeah. was fine. But... Oh well. I think everyone's got to lose a drone. I'm coming, yeah, no, I'm coming back does. down, I was swearing and cursing at myself before. Oh, I thought he was going to be sick. I felt like I was going to be sick, 1500 bucks. That's why I can't gamble. I lose 50 bucks and I feel the same. Okay, come on, let's go. Awesome evening. Pretty sure I just heard a croc slide into the water. I've just had a shower. Shower out of a bucket. Feels good. Sit around the fire and have a couple of beers and have some dinner. No one else around. I haven't seen anyone else along this road at all, all day. It would be nice to fly a drone around here. It's a beautiful night. It's like 25 degrees still. We're both dressed up, got our hoods on. I don't know if you can see this me either. This is what we look like. <laughs> I've just taken a photo. <laughs> We're all dressed up because all the mozzies. We've got insect repellent on our clothes because they bite you through your clothes as well. Not too bad, I've actually been worse. Hey. What, the mozzies? Yeah. It's because they're all rugged up. No, yeah, I suppose. Oh, who knows. I've just went to pick up this piece of wood to stoke the fire and realised that there's a whole lot... I'll zoom in, hang on. whole lot of termites coming out the end. I'm not liking the fact that their piece of wood's on the fire. Gross. Oh, <laughs> it's 
There's so many of them. They're just piling out of the piece of wood. Must be hollow on the inside, full of termites. So I feel like I need to record this. What? It's steep. 